Once in a blue moon, something is discovered that completely rocks the world of archaeology and invites us to reconsider what we understand of history. One such thing was discovered in 2005. Archaeologist Samir Osmanagic was visiting a museum in Visoko in Bosnia-Herzegovina when he realized, stunned, that a very large hill in the valley had four clear triangular sides, an even grade slope, obvious corners, and even an apex, the exact geometry of a pyramid. Given his research of other pyramids, Samir investigated other criteria to find that it was also structurally aligned with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, another fundamental feature of the ancient pyramids. At every turn, the geometric precision and structural evidence of his research showed that this so-called hill and five additional places in the valley were structures that had been created, engineered by the ancients, and hidden by vegetation over thousands of years. The discovery was nothing short of epic. Not only were these the first pyramids to be discovered in Europe, two of them, the Pyramids of the Moon and the Pyramid of the Sun, are both larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, with the Pyramid of the Sun, according to this archaeologist, now measuring as the largest pyramid in the world. Well, when fossils taken from the structure revealed, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun dated back 35,000 years, which is well before our current understanding of civilization. The revelations did not land well with established academics. Within hours of the international announcement of this extraordinary discovery, the story suddenly disappeared. In the meantime, geologists and archaeologists from many countries petitioned the Bosnian government to stop Samir's excavations, claiming his discoveries were merely natural formations. Nonetheless, 55 skeptical but curious archaeologists joined him to learn more, concluding at finish that it did appear to be true. Nature could not have formed these mountains. They are artificially created structures. But the others in the field, without even visiting it, threatened his excavation efforts with incredible resistance. These trusted archaeological experts assumed and concluded Samir must be a fraud, and they labeled his discovery a hoax. Rather than be swayed, however, their resistance made it clear to Samir that he was on to something big. For the next few years, he fought a legal battle to ensure his right to excavate, even suing the government for trying to block his scientific study. Finally, he succeeded and even received the government's blessings in his research. Normally, Archaeological excavation is a very conservative science, and it only permits accredited academics who keep all the revelations secret until such time it is revealed. Though Samir is powerless to public defamation from established mainstream institutions, he found the perfect strategy to protect his research and decided that this project would belong to the people. So he engaged all those who wished to contribute and learn, making sure that all discoveries would be fully transparent. His nonprofit organization, Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation, welcomed thousands of enthusiastic international volunteers in the excavation and discoveries of what appears to be the oldest pyramid in the world. Join the universe inside you and create a new reality as we share what research of the Bosnian pyramids has revealed thus far. Decide for yourself whether you think the features are all just miraculous coincidences of nature or ancient monuments that could be part of a global grid with an electromagnetic function we have yet to fully understand. 
you're probably thinking, it's far more likely that the four sides of that mountain are just a coincidence. After all, the only ancient pyramids we hear about are in Egypt and Mexico. Well, actually, a growing number of archaeologists researching the so-called mounds around the world believe differently. Cutting-edge scientific research shows that round and multi-sided pyramid structures made of adobe, limestone, and granite are far more common than thought, and that they exist, in fact, on every continent, brushed off as mountains, hills, empty tombs, or even piles of rocks, because they're so much older than we've realized. And also, of course, because we still can't figure out why any civilization would go through all the trouble of building these enormous structures of unimaginable weight for no practical reason, unless the reason's yet to be revealed. In other words, we don't know what we don't know. So before we share the facts about the Bosnian Pyramid, the BPS, consider this first. If we knew that pyramids held a practical function, and if we were open to the possibility that civilization's history on Earth goes back much further than we've acknowledged, would we notice the similarities of these pyramid structures on every continent, like the almost 2,000 pyramids in China that are over 12,000 years old, the 224 in Sudan, the 43 in Sicily, the three in Palencia, Spain, where there are pictures of reptilian-like beings, and where one, tragically, was recently destroyed. Would we see the 104 in the Canary Islands, or those in East Africa, or those in El Salvador and Honduras, including this one, where an interior temple reveals what appears to be Mayans and spaceships? Would we see Cambodia's? Would we notice the hundred-meter-high pyramids in Indonesia? And would we see that in the United States of America, the 200 mounds in southern Illinois have all the criteria of ancient pyramids? Or how about this mysterious one in Antarctica. And we mustn't forget those underwater, off the coast of Japan, and off the coast of Florida. So, as you can see, every continent has evidence of these structures, and yet we're still telling ourselves that primitive people built these for their dead, and built them in ways we can't figure out. Could it be that there's more to this story than this accepted narrative about primitive civilizations? According to Samir and other archaeologists, these assumptions are not the true purpose of these world structures. New archaeological revelations, particularly the research from the Bosnian period of the sun, suggests that pyramids were not mounds, tombs for pharaohs or their other leaders but were built for other purposes tens of thousands of years ago, and that they were, in fact, complex energy machines. Most importantly, he says these energy machines do four things. They create energy fields that support healing. They improve the molecular structure of water and food. That they advance spiritual and mental abilities And, most surprisingly of all, that they transmit and receive interstellar communication through the apex via scalar wave technology. This is a lot to take in, so keeping worldwide pyramids in mind, let's have a look at Bosnia now to see if it meets the criteria of an artificially engineered structure, or to see if it's just a massive hill and a cruel hoax. Any ancient monument that's not in the desert 
could be hard to discern if it's covered with foliage and soil over millennia. If you look at the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun from the land, it's easy to see why the structure just looks like a hill. From a drone or a plane, however, the clarity of the shape becomes more obvious. You can also see the terrain if Google Maps didn't make it fuzzy and indistinguishable, which is interesting since other areas are so clear and distinct at the same distance. Does Google want to keep something mysterious? So what exactly distinguishes a pyramid from a hill or a mountain? There are 10 scientific criteria that pyramids possess. We'll name each and compare how the Bosnian pyramid weighs in on those requirements. First, the most obvious quality of a pyramid is its shape and geometry. For most structures, this means four-sided equilateral triangles. But pyramids do have other shapes. Three, five, six sides, or even circular ones. As mentioned, BPS has four sides, angles of 60 degrees, and the south side has a causeway, which distracts from the perfection of those angles. Simply replace the green with the brown, and the shape of this so-called hill looks just like this. In 2006, Samir uncovered the foliage on the northeast corner to find exactly what he expected, two sides that met at an angle. Could nature do that? The second thing is side orientation to the cardinal points and alignment to true north. While the Pyramid of Giza holds an error to true north of zero degrees in two minutes, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun holds an error of zero degrees, zero minutes, and 12 seconds, making it even more precisely aligned with true north than the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Still, we're asked to believe this is just a coincidence. The third is artificially constructed building materials. As mentioned, Ancient structures become indistinguishable with overgrowth that buries whatever building materials are there. Take, for example, the two well-known pyramids in the Mexican Yucatan, in Coba and Calakmul, which appear to be hills in the midst of the jungle, except that the excavated side reveals the granite and sandstone. When excavations began for BPS, at roughly three and a half feet of soil, large rectangular blocks were discovered, each weighing seven tons and having six flat sides. These blocks were stacked neatly together with clay binding and showed evidence of perfect symmetrical formation and placement, even having unusual and unique patterns. They also have quartz crystal in them, a powerful energy conductor that we use today in almost everything. Samples of the material binding these enormous stones were sent to seven separate international laboratories for examination, and each one determined separately of the others that rock, sand, water, and clay in the binding is a synthetic concrete called polymer concrete. This material is so strong and so durable that compared to today's concrete, the ancient polymer rates far superior in strength to what we presently use. It also has a surprisingly low water absorption rate of 1% versus our 3%, which would obviously contribute to withstanding weather over time. Skeptics claim the building blocks of this structure are just coincidental natural formations. Some have even gone so far as to accuse Samir of shaping the hills, placing stones in ways to make it seem like it was engineered. So have a look at these terraces. Do they look like a natural formation to you, or something you could just throw together? The fourth element is artifacts. Excavations on or near the area have uncovered some unusual artifacts, 
like this giant round stone. No explanations known for how or when it was carved. But visitors spend time near them and find that ailments and pain is lifted and that they feel very relaxed. This rock, found on the Pyramid of the Dragon, appears to be a map of the three main pyramids. This small ceramic pyramid was ironically found near the structures at a site overseen by an archaeologist who petitioned to stop Samir's research. She insisted the find was not related to the nearby structure, so it was never reported to the local Visoko Museum. It supposedly went to Germany for research, but appears to have not been seen since then. This stone from the valley also seemed to show an astronomical map, but it's been revealed since that it appears to be a map not of stars, but of the structures themselves in their layout in the valley. Much of the rocks found do have carvings, and here's a compilation of those symbols that were carved into the rocks. This small head was found, and it's very unusual, as was this pigmented effigy, along with stones that appear to look like feet, all dating prehistorically. And those are just a few. Another quality is inner chambers. Everyone knows Giza has mysterious chambers at odd angles inside the structure. Not long ago, a Chichen Itza, an ancient access tunnel, was discovered, which only local tribes knew of. It had been sealed for hundreds of years. True to form, geothermal analysis of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun reveals no less than seven layers of passageways within it, which appear to wind in a spiral throughout the structure. Measured, these would stretch for miles and miles. As it continues to be excavated, in time, these will surely be known. A lesser-known characteristic of pyramids are the presence of surrounding tunnels. Oftentimes, these tunnel systems are undiscovered, or simply not made public by authorities. Other pyramids in Egypt and China are known to have them, but the tunnels that were discovered and excavated near the BPS have already exceeded the distance measured by all other pyramids, making it the most extensive underground network around any pyramid known to man. The tunnel walls themselves are made of conglomerate, a natural combination of sand, rock, and pebbles, tightly compacted over thousands of years by water sources. But Samir's team discovered that many of these tunnels had clearly been sealed, either to keep them a secret or to block the flow of energy that's created by water, the tunnels, and the pyramid itself. When organic material from this debris was carbon dated, it revealed that these tunnels were sealed only 5,000 years ago. It was also discovered that the stone blocks used to make the pyramid were the same substance as the material removed from the tunnels, revealing that the creators of the tunnels also created the pyramid. And that precedes the 5,000-year mark. Further investigation in the tunnels found large blocks at precise distances of 10 feet apart, the largest one being 18,000 pounds, or 8 tons. One of the most fascinating things found in the sealed tunnels was a huge 8-ton smooth stone block, which appears to be strategically placed over flowing water. This rock had symbols carved onto it. Multiple analysis by the Institute of Atomic Physics revealed that this large block is an artificially constructed material, again, a synthetic ceramic made over 35,000 years ago. Investigations discovered that it was in two pieces, 
a lid sealed over a supportive base, and geo-radar analysis revealed that the center was carved out and held some kind of mineral that was different from the ceramic, likely a quartz crystal, given the powerful electromagnetic conductivity of this object. Precise EMF readings taken near the object consistently reveal the frequency of 7.83 hertz. The sixth of the criteria is running water. All world pyramids were built near rivers and streams, just like the Pyramid of Giza has the Nile nearby and water sources underneath it. BPS is near a river and has extensive layers of underground streams at different depths. But perhaps one of the most extraordinary features of the site are the mathematical relationships between structures and the sacred geometry created as a result. Sacred geometry is the geometrical patterns and the mathematical laws in nature, from the most minuscule particles to the greater cosmos, upon which all creation is founded, thus making mathematics and geometry a universal language. These principles convey the interconnectedness of all nature, reminding us that we have a relationship to the whole of creation. These patterns include pi and the golden mean, and are often cryptically woven into the works of great artists and structural engineers. They are, in fact, an elevated expression of wisdom. When you connect the apex of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun with the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon and the Pyramid of the Dragon, it creates an equilateral triangle. Then, within it, if you connect two other structures with the tunnel entrance, it creates a second triangle. Equilateral triangles and triangles within others are sacred geometry. When you consider the points of the natural surrounding landmarks, the tunnel entrances and where the rivers meet, you get a third triangle, the largest one. Keep the same midpoints for all three and you have the base for the flower of life as you would see it from above. Traditionally, esoteric studies reveal that the torrids in the flower of life imply dimensionality. Like in Egypt, the length of the base divided by the height is pi, irrational numbers. According to Samir, these mathematical principles were carefully engineered and are powerful forces contributing to the movement of energy. What he explains is the true message of the pyramid, that the Bosnian pyramid of the sun, the moon, the dragon, and of love are flowing with energy, as though they were alive. Since few of us today are actually taught the profound implication of this extraordinary wisdom of sacred geometry, it's easy to overlook how important these expressed patterns are in ancient structural engineering. It's also worthy to note that pi wasn't officially discovered until a few hundred years ago, so did our primitive ancestors somehow figure it out? Or was it, again, just a coincidence? The eighth criteria is astronomical features. As we pointed out in our Mars video, there are consistent astronomical features present among all ancient pyramids on Earth. And one of the most extraordinary moments in Bosnia happens on June 22nd, summer solstice, just before the sun sets. But this is when the shadow of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun perfectly eclipses the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon. Samir has shared that of all the pyramids he studied, this clear, obvious relationship connecting the two is by far the most rare and unique. Of course, experts are again claiming this is pure coincidence. 
The ninth of the criteria is location with energy potential, namely volcanic lines. Samir discovered that if you draw invisible lines to connect all the world's volcanoes, ancient monuments are built on these invisible lines, especially where they intersect with other lines. For example, Easter Island meets over 10 intersected lines, Machu Picchu on 16, but the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, matched only by Chichen Itza, meets on 26 volcanic intersected lines, more than any other monument. As we noted in our video about Nikola Tesla, Tesla knew that if you could amplify electricity over time, we could dramatically improve the state of our planet without harming it the way current technology does. So, the combination of these lines, the tunnels, flowing water, and an iron plate deep in the earth all contribute to amplify the energy of the structure. And the result? You have a powerful conductor of electromagnetic energy, one which leads to the final and the most exciting criteria of a pyramid, particularly of the BPS, and that is measurable energy flow. For millennia, Earth has held a natural frequency, a pulse per se of 7.83, which is known as the Schumann resonance. It's vital to our emotional and physical well-being, but has increased rapidly over the last few decades as direct result of technology. EMF radiation from cell phones, Wi-Fi, TVs, power, atomic explosions, microwave energy, and much more. These bombardments have pushed the Earth's frequency as high as 16 hertz, and this slows down our mental processing, harms our cells, and negatively affects many things. If BPS were just a hill, energy frequencies would measure the same as everywhere else around the globe. But with every EMF, sonic, and ultrasound reading, the frequencies measured at BPS consistently show the Schumann frequency, 7.83, especially in the tunnels. And the result is nothing short of miraculous. Water and food brought from beneath and around the structure has superior molecular structure. And volunteers involved in the excavation have experienced dramatic, unexplainable healing from respiratory illnesses to spinal injuries. They just disappear. Why? We know that charged ions from flowing water supports health and kills microbes in the body. The iron beneath the earth increases electromagnetic flow. Quartz helps conduct energy. And the Schumann resonance promotes serenity and health. So, is it any wonder people report elevated emotional and physiological states near the pyramids? This doesn't happen just anywhere, especially on any hill. Could the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun be the energy machine that Samir hypothesizes? It's on the summit of the pyramid, however, that something really spectacular happens with energy flow. The electromagnetic fields are amplified 60 times stronger than anywhere else on the planet, measuring consistently at 28 kilohertz for a radius of 13 feet at the very apex of the structure and would appear to look like this manipulated photo. This frequency, by the way, has been associated with levitation in experiments done with ping pong balls by the American Ralph Ring. Is there a relationship to the frequency of levitation and the frequency being emitted from the summit of this pyramid? Needless to say, Natural mounds and hills do not create energy bursts 60 times greater than the Earth. 
Not even other pyramids show that kind of reading. But something powerful was caught on film at another location. When in 2009, a father photographing his children just before a lightning storm at Chichen Itza, Mexico. This photo offers a visual of the exact sort of energy beam that's being measured above the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Could this energy be an indication of a greater purpose that the pyramid served? Even more evidence of the pyramid's energy has been caught on video camera. A camera which was specifically designed to capture bioenergy fields. This footage shows the horizontal energy lines which blanket all the land and all other hills. But when you reach the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, those lines suddenly become vertical. In fact, in this video, it's been noted that some kind of unidentified craft is entering and leaving the actual boundary of the pyramid, perhaps interdimensionally. But that's a whole other subject and a whole other video for discussion. If the Bosnian pyramids are just misconstrued hills, nature is certainly capable of creating some amazing tricks, including perfect block terraces, geometrical perfection, sacred geometry, and powerful electromagnetic surges in and around these so-called hills. If they are the engineered structures they appear to be, well, it's time to rewrite our history books. After all, our history assumes that the human race is wiser and more advanced than ever before. But the BPS, the oldest and largest and most enigmatic pyramid in the world, seems to indicate that highly intelligent cultures may have existed in the very distant past, and that they engineered these pyramids in ways that primitive humans never could have, in ways that we are still trying to figure out. Of course, it's just easier to deny these facts than admit such an important historical discovery, that the largest and oldest ancient structure in the world was virtually unnoticed in plain sight for centuries. Let alone admit that we still know very little about its actual benefits and function. While Samir has been under constant attack by people from major institutions, we can't help but wonder why so much effort to control and stop him since a massive hoax would simply reveal itself in time, especially when you compare it to the Egyptian directors and diggers who cannot disclose their revelations. And all Samir's research is transparent and made public. In fact, when he was accused of using this discovery for political gain, he said this, This project should unite people, not divide them. Those pyramids don't belong to any particular nation. They're not Bosnia or Muslim or Serb or Croat pyramids because they were built at a time when those nations and religions were not even in existence. He said, although tens of thousands of pyramids have been discovered across the planet, none has the construction quality or can date back as far as the ones in Bosnia. Bosnia is the original pyramid, the oldest and largest ever constructed. It's an exact zero degree north orientation and is potentially the key to releasing information about ancient technology that can free the world of its dependence on fossil fuel, along with offering the possibility of finding astounding medical breakthroughs in the scientific community. He concludes, They've been there for tens of thousands of years and are going to remain for thousands more. Why not use this short time to discover, learn, grow, and find what they have to offer us? Thank you for watching. 
please hit like if you enjoyed this video. We hope you'll subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified of future releases, just hit the bell button.